Welcome back to episode 7 of my Volkswagen Crafter van build. Today I'll be fitting the outro flooring. It's the final finish of the flooring um, on top of my plywood. Um, I'm using a graphite colour to match the overall theme of the van. So that's what I'll be doing this morning. I'm going to start by giving it a good sand just to give the surface a key. And now I'm going to go over it with a latex finish. So the reason why I'm using a latex finish first is to just infill any dents and deviations within the plywood. I'm using this Rapid, um, it's called Rapid 75, it's made by Silka um, and it's, um, it really does adhere good to any surface and it infills any cracks, especially because I'm using ply which is in three sections, I don't want those to penetrate through the finished floor level. It's really easy to apply, I'm just using a trowel just to smooth it over. Um, there's going to be some slight ridges in it, but it is a self-leveling compound. But afterwards I shall wait till it's dry and then I shall go over it with some sandpaper and then give it another good hoover. So the same place where I got the flooring from, they supplied me with that de-zifter suit. They had a half a bucket over from one of their previous jobs, so they give it to me free. But it's a good acrylic um, glue, especially for this type of flooring. I'm using a roller, because it's just easy to apply, um, just an ordinary paint roller. So after I've done the first section of the glue, I'm just laying down the floor and I'm using this small roller. It's only about 100 millimeters wide, but it just gets any air that's trapped in the floor in and it just smooths out the surface completely. So after I've finished sticking the flooring down to the plywood, I'm just gonna go over it again, the whole floor with a roller, just to make sure I've got any air bubbles out and just to make sure the flooring has stuck to the plywood underneath. Just prior to fitting my flooring, I took delivery of my fridge freezer that I bought. It's a Dometic, um, I think it's a CRX80, which is about 79 litres. Um, it's a compressor fridge. Um, I bought it from a, I think it's called a Chandry, like a marine shop rather than a motorhome shop. It's exactly the same um, item you would buy in a caravan or motorhome shop, but it was about £100 cheaper. In my old Volkswagen T6, I had the same fridge, but it was a smaller size. I think that was a 50 litre, but this is an 80. Because I'm now in a bigger van, I thought I'd go slightly bigger this time.
really easy connection, just one wire, positive and negative, wired to my electrics with a fuse. The reason why I got this fridge early on in the build because I wasn't sure exactly where to place the fridge. So I thought if I've got it, I've got the size and then I can manoeuvre it around the van just to see exactly where I want to place it. So now the flooring's dried, everything sits on top of the flooring. So I'm going to get my panels in which I've all already insulated and carpeted and then I can make a plan of installing them. So I begin just by trial fitting my panels first, just to make sure I'm 100% happy the way they fit and there's no adjustments I need to make. Um, before I fit the panels, I'm going to install um, the same silver battery in full. It's like a vapor barrier, but also a thermal barrier. The same as what I use on the roof. I did have to remove my center wall panel again just so I could carpet the center pillar and around the head. So I'm going to leave this video here. In my next video, which is episode eight, I will be installing and making my bed. That um, it's an electric bed that will raise up into the ceiling to give my seating underneath more accessibility. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like these videos and leave any comments down below. See you next time.